All right, this is gonna be windy, but it's okay because I'm taking you to the beach with me. This is why they call it clear water. Look at how gorgeous this water is. You can't make this stuff up. And I get to live here because I choose to. Here's the thing, you're not a tree. Don't plant yourself where you're at. Your unlimited potentiality. Get out. Find your space, your place, and sacred embrace. Life's too short. Always a choice to get out of your comfort zone, move your body, get in the water, get some vitamin C, as in the C, vitamin D, and just get on your mossy way, like you live your life. So it's windy, this is Clearwater, Florida, welcome to my world. This is how I live, this is how you live well. You're not a tree. Don't plant yourself where you're at. If you're unhappy where you're at, move. Make change. People say they want change, but they're unwilling to make changes. How crazy is that? If you really want change, you gotta stop doing the same thing over and over again because that's the definition of insanity. It's not changing a thing. It's enabling, it's reinforcing, because when you do things on repeat, you're reinforcing behaviors and habits and beliefs. When you want change and you're serious, reach out to me. I designed the 11-week Women in Wellness online workshop and retreat specifically to sustain you, maintain you, to create new habits, patterns, and that's the thing. It takes at least 40 days to create, to end an old habit and create a new one. You have to replace one thing with the other. Otherwise, one of them will run the show. You get to choose which way you're gonna go. So I've had a lot of freaking, freaking out people because people are losing their shit, right? We got a Mercury retrograde in its shadow, shenanigans happening. And then we got this full moon lunar eclipse that's about to happen in less than, what? Less than 24 hours, less than 12 hours. Here's a question. What are you willing to let go of so that you can have the ultimate life, the ultimate desires? Everything that you want is on the other side of your limitations that are in your mind. You just need to choose you. You need to get out of your own way. You have to learn to invest in yourself. If you want to be the victim, just keep telling the same story. If you want to be the victor, you got to make a change. You have to invest in yourself. You gotta do better for you. You gotta watch what you think. Watch what you put in your mouth when you're thinking. Because again, you know, the vicious cycle is when you're in a mood, you reach for a certain type of comfort food and then that comfort food reinforces your mood. Everybody wants a good life. Everybody wants opportunity. But if you're not willing to step through the door when the opportunity is presented to you, what good is the opportunity? You've just missed it. But again, I will say, divine opportunity always re-presents itself to you. It always comes back. You may not think it does. You may think you've lost opportunities in your life. You never lost them. They just keep coming back and they're just testing to check and see, are you ready yet? Are you ready to make a change in your life? A lot of people don't want to put in the time, the energy, the money. They don't want to invest. It's too much money. If you're not willing to invest in you, who's going to? You want to say that people should treat you a certain way? You want to feel valued? If you're not valuing you, what makes you think anybody else is going to value you? If you don't put money, time, and energy, and effort, and dedication into you, nobody else is going to do that for you. You may get lucky in your life, and you have the love of your life, and they totally dote and adore and treat you like wonderful. And then maybe you didn't appreciate it as much, and you lose that. That's to teach you contrast. That's to teach you what you may or may not have appreciated and what you took for granted in your life. 
even if you consider yourself a victim of your circumstances, I want you to question, if you learned how to be a victim, you've been taught how to manipulate too. Here's the, here's the sad, hard truth that a lot of people don't want to hear, that you play the victim, oh, woe is me, these people keep doing things to me, you're just moaning and groaning. Why me? Woe is me. But you yourself use that story to manipulate and get what you want. Take ownership for that shit. Because I've done it. I own it. I wouldn't know it if I didn't have it in me. If you spot it, you got it. If someone is manipulating you, you need to actually confront yourself and look in the mirror and go, am I manipulating other people? Am I actually doing the same type of stuff I'm having done to me? That's how that works. Mirrors are always there. It's just whether or not you're willing to look in them. Whether you're willing to own them, accept them, embrace them, and just go like, holy shit. Wow, I've been burning burning the midnight hour. I've been worried about the way someone's treating me. And meanwhile, I've been doing it to other people. Not a lot of people want to own the fact that they're just as much a manipulator as being manipulated. If you yourself are going through something where you feel someone's taking advantage of you, you need to own it in your own life where you've been doing it or have done it as well. The only way you're going to dissipate and release those old energies and those old habits and routines is if you yourself are willing to own when you have played a part, you have played a role, just as much as what you are experiencing. Because that's the boomerang effect and it's in constant, constant change and it's always happening. We are always always going to see contrast in life because that's what guides us that's how we find what aligns that's how we discern from love or fear what we like or not like you know it's it's we're always acting out of fear or love that's a simple one right there can you own that can you recognize oh my gosh i'm being motivated because i'm afraid of something to happen so this is why i'm doing what i'm doing versus i'm feeling inspired by love to take action to do something different because i know that I'll be taken care of and I trust and have faith on the other side. You know, you have to face fear in the face. Despite fear, shit's still gonna happen. Life is still gonna continue to unfold and you're gonna have experiences. It's whether or not you're willing to experience them fully, richly, or you're gonna cower. You're gonna play small. You're gonna be so fearful that you don't take a risk and then you you wonder you regret you know that's what we do isn't it we when we don't take a risk we don't take a chance for ourselves on life and love and happiness and all the 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 vast palette of colors that life presents to us the gifts if you don't take a chance make a risk how do you think you're going to ever have an opportunity Life is here to surprise and delight you. Are you going to participate? Sign up for my 11-week Women in Wellness online retreat. Change your life. Change your patterns. You get 11 weeks. You're not going to get that in any workshop or retreat. You're not going to get that to come home and have sustain you. Get out of this, hmm, I want it now. See, we, we live in a narcissistic culture. Think about it. When you got narcissistic leaders, you got narcissistic nations. When you've got, I want it now, I want it my way. When you got marketing constantly coming at you, self, instant gratification, self satisfaction, you know, you deserve it. All these slogans reinforce this idea that we don't have to actually put in the work. But see, all that does is keep you chasing the high in addiction. Because when you get it, when you want it, who says you really appreciate it? And then the next thing is you're looking for the next fix, the next high. You're not actually present in the moment. You're still looking for the next moment. That's not being present. That's not right here, right now. That's in the future, you're, you've got an anxiety. What's gonna happen? You got in the past, I'm depressed. I'm stuck in my stories. When you're present, you just are. There is no codependency on the next and the next and the next. And, you have to be conditional and, well, the only way I'm going to do this is if this happens. I, I need money. I don't have the money. But isn't it funny when people say, I don't, it's too expensive. First off, that translates to, I'm not worth it. I won't invest in myself. 
But yet, these are the same people that'll say, why doesn't anybody love me? Why does this person not treat me the way I deserve? Because you're not doing it. You can, you can point the fingers out at everybody else and play that victim card and wave that badge of honor like, oh, woe is me. But the truth of the matter is you got three fingers pointing back at you, baby. You want people to treat you well, you got to start with treating you well. You got to own your own shit. Own your own part in giving away your power and being codependent on how someone else treats you. Again, if you're not treating you well, they're not going to treat you well. Life is too short. Why are you wasting your time? There's plenty of fish in the sea. Hello. Come on. We're <laughs> the 99% of the people are occupying 1% of the world. And we, they want to tell us we don't have renewable resources. Are you kidding me? We're not even occupying the areas where there are an abundance of resources. What makes you think that that one person is all there is for you? That's the only opportunity you'll ever have for love. Take a risk. Drop the dead weight and let it go so you can actually embrace and live a full, rich life with the person you're meant to be with. There's plenty of people out there. You just need to get out. You just need to change your scenery. You need to change your lifestyle. You need to change your routines, your patterns, your beliefs. It all starts up in your head. And if you don't think you're worthy, that's the first problem because you're not willing to put in the self-love, the, the nurturing. You're not gonna work on that inner child you're the one suffocating. You're the one in your own way. That's all I can say. That's my tough love <sighs> speech for the day. I want to help more people. And I'm telling you that I really undervalued it. This was the last time I'm going to offer 11 weeks for $1,500. I did this because I wanted to make it accessible for those people who are committed and dedicated and devoted to changing their lives. I know that it's needed more now than ever that when you come into a community, a small group, you have an, a built-in organic relationship of people who are committed to changing their lives and supporting others doing the same. Will you make the choice for you? That's the question. So get out in nature, get your vitamin C and D. I see you. I love you. Live life and laugh. Laugh, 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 laugh. And splash, 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 splash. Okay, lots of love and I'll see you on the flip.